Hey everybody, how are you doing today? Finally, I was able to install um, Cyberpunk 2077 on the Zephyrus G14 and today we're gonna have the real competition. Let's start with the fingerprint. Fast. There you go. It's so fast. Uh, so, let's start the game and see the setting. Now, the screen is on 25... Uh, 20... 2560, 14.4, let me just show you this real quick. Here, as you can see, 2560, 14.40, native resolution. So let's start with Cyberpunk and see what actually you're gonna get from uh, this information right here. So let's just start also MSI after burner so we, we get the information, the background, just in case we need to see the thermals. And uh, let's minimize this and wait for the game to start. All right, everybody, so the game has started right now. And as you can see, let me just uh, press play and see what we have here. So let me just tap and focus on the screen to get even better kind of production. Okay. Um, this is very good test for the Zephyrus G14 performance because we have probably the only laptop with the Ryzen 49000. And also, we have the RTX 2060 on 14 inch screen. It's amazing sound, by the way. It's not even 50%. We have some crazy sound. Okay, so by the way, I didn't plug the power brick, so now it's on battery. So we're gonna see the setting. Okay, so first off, let me just say that there is a bug here. Let me just show you. When I moved my mouse here, let me just take it back a little bit. So when I move my mouse, it doesn't move as you can see. So this is the first bug that CD Projekt Red should go through. I know they are actually now going through some trouble. <laughs> so. Cannot just play it on my head. So let's just use the uh, arrows. Let's reduce it just a little bit. And let's go to setting. Once we go to setting, we're gonna go through display, graphics, and here, as you can see, set on high. It's in uh, full HD. Let me just switch it to. Uh, 2560 by 1440 now it's set as 2560 1440 go to apply and there you go full screen go back back to setting we go to graphics once we go to the graphics obviously we, we will never be able to run this on high on quad HD no matter what your graphic card is it's, 20 RTX is not gonna run that fast. So, just to let you know, okay, I will start it with this configuration. And here you can see the setting. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, so the top one is the, uh, the thermals of the GPU and the performance of the CPU. And we're gonna see what we have. All right, now here it is unplugged. We have around nine FPS, nine FPS, which is pretty stupid. <laughs> Let me just plug in the power brick and open and watch the FPS, guys. And here we go, 20, 30 FPS, 30. 28 FPS, so we're able to get uh, 30 FPS, almost 30 FPS, 28. It's pretty okay. I mean, actually, it's very good. QHD high. I'm just saying. So let us improve the FPS even more. Okay, so let's go here and set it on medium. Let's see what we have. I know the game is very demanding, so we have around 33 FPS, and this area that I'm, I'm actually 
working on here is very demanding. The lights, the smokes, all that stuff. It's not like a place where you easily can be handling. So, yeah. Do you want a stable 30 FPS? You can do it in Quad HD using the Zephyrus G14 with very uh, managed uh, thermal. So we have around 60 degrees and that's it. That's what you get, 60 degrees. The fans are not blowing so much. I mean, if you look at my past videos, if you go to my playlist and you follow all the steps that I did in the videos with disabling turbo boost, uh, doing all that stuff. Also, you have to update the firmwares. Um, just follow my previous videos, guys, and you'll know how to set up the uh, Zephyrus G14 to be the best possible gaming laptop out there. Now, this on QHD. So let's go and set it to... We're working on the RTX right now, so let's put it on low. And let's see what we have here. Yeah, 43. This is the closest thing you can get to a 60. You're probably going to get to the areas you get to 50. 60 FPS, so it depends on what you are you doing. So 60. you can hear like 50 FPS in this area. So this is the probably the playable part of the um, uh, the game. I mean, this is the playable part of the game. Just if you want to go with the um, 25 or Q QHD, just go for. Oops. So yeah, even the story, cutscenes, is gonna work. Ah, oh, excuse me, some uh, stupid language here. Oh man, I mean, vulgar language for those. But well, this is not for children. This game is not for children, so fuck that. Um, so we are on to into conversations. So let's just wait and go to something. So basically, if you want to play QHD, you have to set it back to, as I explained to you. Um, to medium, no medium. We just set it to low wasn't set to medium that's weird so let's go back to low and let's just skip this when you go to the low yeah it's gonna get you on the 40s 45s most likely sometimes at 50 but it's not gonna get you to a 30 which is uh very nice so let's go back here now if you want to hit the 60 60 like true 60 with this nice small laptop you can just do it by 10, 20, 1980, 1080, 1920, excuse me, and push OK. The screen is going to get a small because the resolution is not set on uh, the background and to be a, um, what do you call it, 1080p, but you can see the FPS here. Smooth 60 FPS, no issues. So you run it easy at 60 FPS. But as you can see, temperature on 70, actually increased, so it says 68 degrees. Okay, so let's go and look at the setting. Go to the graphics. This fan started to pump in some power. So let's just go to high. Let's go high, 1080p. Let's see what we have here. All right, so we have 41. Oh, excuse me, guys. This is not focusing. Oh, my bad. Okay. So as you can see here, we have 41 FPS. This is probably the maximum you can get. 1080p. But if you want to play the smoothest, or let's just say the best setting, is to put it on medium. 1080p. Yeah. This is probably the best setting is to play it at... 50 FPS, um, 55, high 40s, and you can just get it to, uh, oh, I died, okay. So, and basically to increase the resolution, I have to change the uh, the actual resolution here. Let me show you, I have to change the display itself because of the, you know, the scaling thing, you know, Windows. 
What can you do about this? There's nothing you can do with it. Uh, where is it, man? Okay. Uh, display setting. You go here. You have to change it from here to 1920 by 1080. Keep changes. Then close the window. And then you have to go back to setting. Go to video. Go back and put it on full windows full screen once you set it to full screen and let's just go here and there you go graphics media and yeah there you go guys if you're actually looking for a, a smooth 60 fps and you're looking to sacrifice the uh, resolution you can actually get it to us uh, I mean as you can see 66 so whatever this the screen is not gonna get you more than uh, 60 FPS or uh, 60 Hertz so you all you have to do is just go to 1080p set everything low and you're good to go but in my opinion medium is way playable it's no problems like 55 and 50 is not that much of a 60 so you gonna be able to do to deal with this thing as you can see it hits 70 degrees on the gpu probably this is going to get the maximum and um maybe 71 but that's the range that you're going to play with and the cpu as well so yeah this game is playable in zephyrus g14 but number one you have to use um what do you call it you have to use the rtx 2060 and you have to block the power cord at the same time and you have to set it to um disabling turbo boost through my previous video my playlist you can check it out the disabling turbo boost you can see in the thumbnails videos what i did is easy access for you um, now when you follow these steps you'll be able to play the game uh, which is very demanding the cyberpunk 2077 you'll be able to play it in 1080p 60 fps smoothly um, you'll be able to play it on QHD, which is the screen is QHD, around 35 FPS, 35, 40 FPS uh, on on the low, so the lowest possible resolution. Um, you can play it on medium or high setting on the 1080p as well, so it's very, very playable. But you cannot, of course, use any RTX uh, to this, <laughs> to this um, you know, machine because it's it is the RTX 2060 but it's the you know tuned down version it's the max Q so you're not expecting super duper crazy um, thing but coming from a machine with the 14 inch that can play game like this with this capability with this thermal I mean management it's it's pretty impressive guys I'm just saying um, yeah uh, again Zephyrus G14 it's not meant to be playing triple-a games not even current okay it's meant to be, be played um like let's just say games that are you know not so much demanding uh like the witcher 2 you can play it qhd here smoothly and uh, you can play some other games but you cannot just play the maximum maximum it's a qhd it's a beautiful screen when you play it in qhd uh, but the new games with this type of uh, um, you know setup it's really hard so you want you want to have the best experience go watch my Lenovo um, Y540 the 17 inch screen 144 Hertz uh, screen 1080p and then because it has a full fledged um, RTX 2060 not a max Q so you get the full power even has um, the I mean here's the power break I have it 170 watt the Lenovo has 230 watts, so there is a big difference between these two GPUs, obviously. When it comes to thermals, yeah, both of them have good thermals, but the, the Lenovo is way advanced when it comes to uh, thermal um, management. So yeah, uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you everybody for watching this video, and see you in another video.